All right, guys. So today we're gonna be creating this cheetah or leopard look. This is for Halloween. This is for all the people who do not want to dress up um, and have to wear like a, you know, costume. This is for the people who want to go glam as fuck but still want to be in Halloween spirit. So we're gonna be taking that transitional shade. This is from the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette, and we're gonna be putting that into the outer corner. But later on, I do a cut crease because. The look that I was trying to go for was not a cut crease, but I ended up just wanting to do a cut crease because it looks more fierce, and I want that's how I wanted the eyes to look more. And then, so I'm going to be blending out that transition shade with a clean 224 blending brush from MAC Cosmetics. And you just want to, you know, blend back and forth, back and forth windshield wiper motions then we're going to be picking up that burgundy kind of color that one's more of a chocolate burgundy you know kind of color we're going to be putting that into the crease to deepen and make our eyelid not our eye crease pop a little bit more because I have hooded eyelids so I definitely have to create one for myself and at the end of the eye you want to curve it because when we go in and um Clean it up with the concealer. It's going to make that cut crease effect. And I just keep going back and forth with this um, clean 224 blending brush from MAC. Just so that way everything looks soft and blended and it just looks very seamless. Then I'm going to be going in with some MAC soft ochre paint pot to cut the crease. You guys already know this is what I love to do. And then taking a little angled brush so that way my, my cut crease looks very sharp. So then you want to apply the soft ochre paint pot all over the eyelids. And you guys want to make sure that it's very precise, guys. And you want to go above your natural crease because this is very animalistic. So you want it to look very fierce and very out there. So now I'm going to be taking a eyeshadow kind of base. This is Mixing Medium from NYX Cosmetics. Because I have hooded eyelids, what this is going to do, it's going to allow the eyeshadow to stick and stay in place. Because if I were not to use this eyeshadow from Morphe, this one is in something, I'll have it down listed below. I do not remember off of my head which it is, but that one's a pressed pigment. But like I was saying, it's going to allow for the eyeshadow to stay in place. Because I have hooded eyelids, if I were not to do this, if I open my eyes, the eyeshadow on my lid will transfer up to my crease. So that's why I love it. And then I'm going to be taking some glitter from Beauty Creations. And I'm using a really fluffy brush because I want it to be very separated. I do not want it to be all over the lid. And, you know, so I just wanted it to very to look very spread it out. So then now we're going to be drawing a very cat eye wing liner with some NYX liquid liner. And then you guys just want to do this how you guys like to do it. I like to keep mine very thin because I have hooded eyelids and I want the eyeshadow to show so that's why I'm going very minimum with the eyeliner. But it still looks really bomb. So now I'm going to be taking two eyelashes. I'm going to be taking the Lily Lashes and the Dodo Lashes in 3D 316. You guys can use my coupon code on the Dodo Lashes one. They're the ones that I always use guys in my videos and they're amazing. I just like to stack them today's video because they're very dramatic and I need it for this Halloween look so then I'm gonna be taking a color corrector from BH cosmetics this is um, a color corrector wheel and I'm using that orange shade to go all around my mouth because I want to cancel out any blue or green or any other color that I do not want you know coming through because I do get that gray cast a lot because of my hair so I'm going on my cheeks as well because I do have facial hair that grows there and when I put contour it turns gray so this is a method that I've been using on a daily basis if I'm you know going for an interview or if anytime I have to apply foundation to my face I will do this now just because I noticed the difference that it does for myself as you guys can see that grayness is popping through already and I haven't even applied foundation so that's why I like to do it because it does cancel it out and it makes my foundation look really flawless in like one tone. So right here, I'm just setting the... Uh-oh, I forgot. I had a brain fart, guys. <laughs> but 
but I, um, I'm just setting the color corrector, that's what it's called, and I'm just taking a little bit of powder and I'm setting it because if you do not set it, what you're basically doing is you're putting foundation on top of it and you're just mixing the orange with your foundation and it turns your foundation a different color. So then, you know, the whole point of color correcting is non-existent. So that's why you must set it. It works amazingly. Don't worry if you, you know, haven't put your actual foundation on yet. It's perfectly fine. Um, and then, so now I'm just going to go in with a stick foundation. This is a full coverage stick, stick foundation from Craylon. And I'm using the color DO. And this is like my perfect shade, guys. And it's super full coverage. So I'm just using a Morphe angled face brush. This is normally a blush brush, but I'm just using it because my foundation brush is dirty at the moment. So um, it just, it did the job. And you guys, this is like super full coverage. So you're going to look super flawless. You want to make sure to blend it down your neck. Blend it everywhere you did color correct as well. That way you don't have anything peeking through. And you guys, as you guys can see, look at it. It's like my perfect shade of foundation. That's what I love. And you guys, make sure you guys push it into the hairline. And then after this, we're going to be going on with some contour and concealer, I believe. Make sure you guys get that double chin too because you guys need to blend it on that double chin. Now I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics Total Coverage Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers other than the Tarte Shape Tape. They have a really, really similar coverage, but I really just love this one because this one's more hydrating. And I'm just going to be highlighting all the key points and just going to be starting to blend out with my Real Technique sponge. And then right here, you're going to see me grab my foundation brush. And I like to, you know, blend the edges so that way it doesn't look harsh and it just looks very seamless. You can't see where it began or stopped. Now I'm going to be highlighting. So I use the Total Coverage Concealer from BH to you know have the coverage now the tart one I'm using right now is because it's more brighter so that's all I'm really using it for I'm just using it to highlight and I want a pretty dramatic highlight underneath my eye because this is more of a Halloween makeup look so I just really want to look very out there and super ultra glam so that's what I'm gonna do and blend out that light concealer under my eyes and you guys want to make sure you guys get all the way up to your eyes so that way it looks very seamless you look more awake then I'm gonna be going in and blending all of the edges of the concealer I really love this this is a trick of mine that I always do it just makes everything look so seamless and put together and then right after that I'm gonna be setting it with the Maybelline fit me and 10 light and I'm gonna be using that to bake underneath my eyes but first I'm gonna be blending out the creases underneath my eye because make sure you guys do this because then you will be setting the creases and it'll be looking very old and nasty. So that's what you do not want to do. So make sure you blend out first and then you're going to go in with that baking powder. I really like this powder. If you're someone that's super dry, I would say stay away from it because this is a drying powder. But if you're very oily, I will suggest and recommend that you guys pick this up. It's only about $5 at Walmart. You guys need to get your hands on it. So then now I'm going to be blending out that cream contour, which is basically just the darker shade of concealer because I really want to look really bronze and really, really tan because, you know, cheetahs are very tan and the, you know, the colors. So that's why I want to look just very ultra glam and bronze. And then because I am kind of combination skin, I don't like to bake forever. So, uh oh, my voice cracked. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but anyway, so I like to blend right away and dust off all the excess powder because I do not want to look very, you know, like alligator skin underneath my eyes. So that's why I do it really fast. Now I'm taking my Havana shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And this is the light to medium. And 
I just love this reddish powder, guys, especially for some look like this. And I'm going to be going around the temples, really contouring and bronzing up the skin because I really love that effect and really love the color of this bronzer. And then um, because sometimes you can see the harsh line where the contour is, I like to take a little bit of the face powder and blend it, those two together. So now I'm gonna be going back into the palette and taking that shade. And I actually, I'm starting to, I'm going to be going in the inner corner of the eye and pushing the eyeshadow into the inner corner of the eyes and pushing it through the hair because it's going to allow our eyes to look very, very malicious and it's going to add a dramatic effect to it. And also, guys, I just love the, the way it just looked. The more you could do with this look, the better. Sorry, guys, that was my daughter. But anyway, so then now I'm going to be doing exactly what I did on the cut crease onto my lower lash line. And then I'm going to cut the inner corner of the eye with some of that same eyeshadow. I just want it to look very sharp in there and very fierce and just I want it to look good. So then now I'm going to be brightening up my waterline with the Inglot waterline pencil. And you guys know that that's my jam. I always use it. So now for the cheetah specs. So what I wanted to do with the cheetah specs, I didn't want to use any, you know, I just didn't want to use any regular bone colored shade. I wanted it to look very highlighty. And um, so that's why I'm going in with um, So Hollywood by Anastasia. And then I am just basically putting it onto the face with a small synthetic brush, laying it flat so that way you can have that kind of circle shape. As you guys can see, when I turn my head, it reflects. So that's what the whole look that I wanted to go for. And you guys just want to basically draw some C shapes. You guys do not want to be super precise with it. Otherwise, it will look super not good. So that's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm just drawing, you know, the, the little gold circles. And then I'm just going to go in and draw, you know, some half moons. Draw some lines in between. And that's pretty much all you want to do. You can do some half. You can do some full ones. Um, it just whatever you like and whatever you want. So initially I was going to only do one side of the face, but then I just decided to do the whole forehead and a little bit down the temples. So I'm just going to be highlighting with the So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just want to look very glowy. So that's why I'm going to be putting 10 pounds of the highlighter on. So now we're going to go for the whiskers. So I'm just putting two on the top, one on the bottom, kind of in an upside down triangle. And I'm actually using my gel line from Sigma and um, in Wicked. And you guys, actually, this gel liner made it so easy to do. I was actually trying to use my Inglot one, but that one is super drying, although that one's amazing. For this kind of look, it wasn't for it. So I switched over to the Sigma one, and it was aw awesome, guys. So I'm just going to be lining my top lip with that gel liner and it's set pretty amazingly it did not even crack at all and you want to draw you know those whiskers in and then you also want to go all along your the front of your nose that's pretty much what I did and with the mouth I, I ended up dragging it out even more so that way it could be very elongated and I also used it use Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Checkmate. It's a really bright red. I just really love it. And I thought it brought this whole glam cheetah onto another level. And you just want to draw the whiskers and flick out, flick out, flick out. You do not want to be very precise. I like how faded they do look. And that's pretty much it. Then I'm just going to go on my lower lash line, guys. And then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please leave a comment down below if you loved it. Please thumb this up video too. It helps me out a lot if you do thumbs it up. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. 